ladies and gentlemen, I am officially off of YouTube probation for alleged medical misinformation. So I am celebrating officially. Both of my fathers were in the Air Force. And this is a photo of my stepdad. It was an intercontinental ballistic missile silo commander back in the day. And I am your planetary defense commander, Star Lord New Thor 7, the T, wanting to let you know that those are gra gravity waves. And I am proud of y'all for helping me and planet Earth avoid World War III and prevent, so far, civilization from collapsing. These are definitely strange days, man. I'm on beer number one and have the urge to go to the ocean. But I was thinking about doing it on the ninth. But technically, I could do it both days. That would be up to y'all. I run a fundraiser every month to keep the warnings up and running. Uh, if you want to help me celebrate, you can make a contribution. But enough about that. Now I'm here with you. Checking all the shit, talking about whatever I want to. And that's another thing. So I was on probation. I got suspended for like a week, right? And then, you know, if over the next three months after that week, I said anything else that you two d didn't like, I'd get a second strike. And so I'd be suspended for two weeks. And then the third strike means you'll lose your channel, your YouTube channel. I've had my YouTube channel since I think. I've been doing a video almost at minimum once a week since November 2012. So I feel like I can say whatever the fuck I want to again. And that is a weather vibe you can feel. Yeah. So yeah, dude, I felt like I had to walk on eggshells and hold my tongue about so many subjects. So I'd be just happy and relieved. And I know things are shitty and super fucked up. But I still have faith, hope, and optimism. And I'm excited about Easter. Pulte was like, love God, love people. As a Norse Jedi Christian, yeah, to me, those are Jesus Christ, the two rules he gave us. Love God above all else and love, you know, your neighbor is your family. So everybody stay cool, man. And also, all the planetary energy has just been so intense, so incredible, so divine architectural. Like, it's just been fucking amazing man and that like i don't know it feels like there's so few people are gonna have a conversation with about it just that all like jupiter and neptune are about to line up in the sky together something they do i think every 13 years though it's been 156 years since they've met up in pisces though you have like tropical pisces and then you have like sidereal pisces and then you have like in the sky pisces and so now neptune and jupiter or in the sky Pisces, they're kind of going into Aries, which is called uh, Pisces for the West. Uh, it gets confusing. Okay, and, but then there's like Saturn, and so Mars has been in a straight line with Earth and Venus for like two months, and that's just been crazy right here. They've been, because of the way they're orbiting, just in like almost a straight line together, and finally they're coming apart, so now it's like Earth and Pluto are in a high noon showdown. But Mars has, like, been I've been king shit of fuck mountain for, like, the last month or two. And he hadn't been looking ahead because that's not his game. To see that he's about to be up here in a whole different native, like, in a cold water of Pisces. If he was king shit of, like, Aquarius. And he was talking about the Weather Channel has joined YouTube officially now. Well, welcome to the group, y'all. I've been doing weather on Twitter for nine years now. So, yeah, welcome to the party, pal. Am I boring you? Stu, and I've y'all seen this video. You can't hear the audio, but there's Alice Sue showing us, as seen on a Weibo, Shanghai residents go to their balconies to sing and protest a lack of supplies. Shanghai is on full lockdown with 26 million people, and they have real lockdowns in China. And here they only had half ass lockdowns in America. And we, you know, I don't know, and nobody likes them except for me because I don't want to catch a virus. So I just stay here and make videos anyway. It's not all about me. So a drone appeared and is saying, please comply with the COVID restrictions. Control your soul's desire for freedom. And that is weird, dude. So as your planetary defense commander, that like I started training for this shit 
in my like age 12 ish if not younger and so the whole like cold war hot cold war aspect of russia china and the united states of america it's not a new thing it's been here since the 80s man mutually assured destruction and like the game has kind of changed and everybody's like arguing about the semantics of shit like like who controls whatever the new world order is that like you know one can debate that whatever the semantics are that there's going to be like there some form of order and that like whose order is it and so it's a matter of like having the freedom to sing like yeah i absolutely want the freedom to sing always they remember they killed rock and roll rock and roll's been dead for like 20 years so like the whole 20 year doom period if it's just like doom all the time like anyway what was i talking about anyway, the, so the drone is going around telling people to control their soul's desire for freedom and please do not open the window or sing because they're hungry and frustrated so it is yeah it's dystopian it's crazy but you know saturn and jupiter just passed pluto it's like two years ago and that energy was super intense and so we're like coming out of that shit and so i'm not going to lose faith i was born in the united states I, I definitely recognize we have tons of flaws there's still a lot of great american people and so i'm definitely not going to give up hope going into easter and then going into the last thir- three-fourths of 2022 man tracy alloway talking about the first new primary dealer in quite some time if you want to know what a primary dealer is, please refer to any one of the 4,700 Thor News videos that discusses it. Anyway, so that's interesting. And she also said, she is old enough to remember that motherfucking Global was a motherfucking primary dealer. And now that I'm on probation, I can say shit like, oh, I think she's cute. Although saying she, women are pretty and attractive is not what got me in trouble. What got me in trouble was supposedly medical misinformation. They wouldn't tell me exactly what I said that was wrong. <laughs> okay. Here's all I know. I got the strike on January 6th, and then it expired today. For the video that was live called Buckle Up, Venus and Mercury Retrograde, second half of January. So here I was putting a warning that January is going to be weird, and I got, uh, I got nailed. There, it was like a three minute, and I was drinking whiskey. I think that was the thing where I said I'd, drink a shot anytime y'all contributed and then like a bunch of people a couple of people contributed so i drank quite a bit of whiskey but it was fun so much fun that i got in trouble i guess i think when i got me in trouble i was like all right hypothetically like if it were a movie and they didn't take that into account i guess ray dalio says winning means getting the things that are most important without losing the things that are most important so wars that cost cost much more in lives and money than they provide in benefits are stupid technically all wars are stupid this looks like a stupid war. Yeah, dude, I just can't, couldn't even fathom, like, invading a country with almost half your population during a global supply chain disruption and a pandemic still going on. That just, I don't know, the last three or four years, everybody's been, like, insane and doing insane shit. And I'm like, my Norse Jedi Christian faith propels me never to give up hope. Definitely in the face of all the evidence I've seen. Definitely smoke them if you got them. My eight-year th- uh, planetary defense commander anniversary on the twenty-third, and thank you to everybody out there, including the people who protected me, kept me safe, and everybody who's been cool, man. Here we're looking at the models, and sometimes during the shit, I gotta repeat the same shit over and over again, it like just again and again and again. And so I've been talking about the April thirteenth storm is the pattern of periods of wave after wave storms we would see like if i had to predict out of the month which would be the strongest storm period i'm like ooh, the middle of the month and so we're a week away from that period so i'm doing what i can to look at the data and show it to you you are awesome i might act weird like a jackass now let it go i'm trying to let it all out being on promotion that was crazy telling you being a front-facing youtuber specializing planetary defense it's been a weird nine eight years but i'm so grateful for it and i love my job at the end of the day you know y'all and y'all have just been so very very nice to me my little niche youtube channel niche 
yeah, if you make contributions today, I promise to go. Like, I'll be honest. Technically, I want to go have two beers at Hooters and then go to Guitar Center and play their electric guitars for like an hour. Um, I want to do that sometime this week. Maybe today. Who knows? But today in 1986, Houston celebrates its 150th birthday with Rendezvous Houston Concert and Light Snow, scored by Jean-Michel Jarre. I love living in a big city. Yeah, dude. I don't know, see, this is 1986. It was like, hey. I want to play a rock and roll. Like, I want to play the rock and roll band on top of one of the Houston cities. I, I've been saying this for so long. Like, if you could manifest something that happened for me and some buddies to jam out on top of one of these buildings would be super and there's one that has like a little auditorium stadium thing in the middle the top and then they got a lot of cool gravity pools i've never swam in swam in in the city so i'm gonna just you know assume that i may get to live for at least 10 more years and things can get better and i don't know how many i'll, I'll get to do but i would like to see interpol in austin on april 27th garth brooks is coming to arlington Texas in July. I'd like to see Olivia Rodrigo. I think she comes in May and then the Strokes come, I think, in September. Those are my four concerts I want to see. And then I want to see Taylor Swift, but I'm not sure she's going to tour in 2022. If you follow Defense Twitter, there's been an interesting debate, tap thingy, over the relation of Space Force to the other military branches. Teresa Hitchens Here's my big defense story on AFSEC Kendall's nuanced message to Space Force yesterday. Space Force is a warfighting domain, but remember your primary job is to support the joint fight ground in the air and at sea, as well in cyber and space. Hey, these are crazy days, man. And I love my job, and I'm glad the economy hasn't collapsed. And um, there have been, you know, tornado. I mean, this, it's going to be a super stormy. It'll be kind of like sci-fi weather film storms will be going through so do your best to survive them um asteroid by club you know i mean it's hurricane season part of me wants to go into a category one hurricane and videotape it either this year or next year or the year after yeah carolinas georgia virginia florida y'all need to be on Severe weather watch. Tornadoes are definitely down and ripping shit up. So says Carrie Copello. All right. And then we got crazy storm tomorrow. Mike's weather page. Storms can continue tomorrow. Squalls and shit. Tornadoes. Hail. Hell's been tearing shit up. Kitty Hawk. Duran. Rally. Yeah, guys. Shout out to all my people in North Carolina. I really want to visit North Carolina one day. Never been there. I've heard it's gorgeous. And they're having rock and roll hot spots that weren't allowed to blossom. One might be here. Uh, it's a rumor, though. You know, there's a lot of gossip on the internet. People love gossip. Orlando, or Tampa, Cape Carol, Daytona Beach, Sarasota. I'd like to go to Florida sometime this summer. Yeah, when you can see high pressure from space. But I can feel the pressure, I can feel the energy. But it feels like optimism. And it does seem like Venus is happy to be out of that weird gauntlet of shit she ran through from November until, like, yesterday. Don't make me smoky to bear you. I'm lucky and blessed that people will you know, enjoy my information. I've been working on this edited video for a couple months. It's because it's difficult. Oh, I don't want to spoil surprise. Okay, see, here's your updated situation. There and there. That's tomorrow. And then, you know, next week's storm will be here before you know it. I'm talking day six and day seven. So we don't have, a, we even have a week before the next one breaks out. And next one's one that, like I said, I predicted would be the like, ooh, yes. So be ready. All right. Thank y'all. Y'all are awesome. Might take me a week to recalibrate from not being on probation i might go live anywhere now in the near future i hadn't gone live but like twice in the last three months all right
All right. All right. Stay cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank y'all. Okay. Great. Yay.